For you, yes I do, Tunnel Vision by Justin Timberlake. You're tuned in to D-Works Live right here on Elite Radio 97.5 FM and WDWL.FM Live Radio. We're here every day from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. It is 5.41 p.m. in the evening. It's still cold. This snow is coming. And I told you that we were going to bring you the Black History of Trivia of the day. I want to give a shout out again to Dabney Clark. I tell you that lady, she is learning a lot because she is really following and finding out her history facts, her black history facts. And yesterday's question was, who is Charles Henry Alston and what was he famous for? And Charles Henry Alston was born in November 28, 1907. He died April 27, 1977. He was an African-American painter, sculptor, illustrator, muralist, and teacher who lived and worked in the New York City neighborhood of Harlem. Yes. Alston was also active in the Harlem Renaissance. He was the first African-American supervisor for the Works Progress Administration's Federal Art Project. Austin designed and painted murals at the Harlem Hospital and the Golden State Mutual Life Insurance Building. So see, there you go. Interesting facts. Uh, also, in 1990, Austin's bust of Martin Luther King Jr. became the first image of an African American displayed at the White House. And that's your black history fact for today. Now, the, uh, that's from yesterday, yesterday's uh, black history fact. Now, the question for today is... What is the history behind Aesop's fables? What is the history behind Aesop's fables? Now, if you know the answer to the question, I want you to go to Facebook and hit me up on Facebook, respond to my video where I'm posting this question. Or if you're brave enough and you want to call me right now, you can 1-877-216-5530. You can call me and answer the trivia question if you know it. 1-877-216-5530, Aesop's Fables. What is the story behind Aesop's Fables? All right, you guys, it is 5.44 p.m. in the evening. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Did you guys hear about this story about the California mom who lost two of her sons, like, within days of each other, within, you know, she lost both of them to gun violence in a within a 19-day period? Her first son, uh, this lady's name is Danielle New, and her son, her only two sons were shot and killed in separate incidents within three weeks of each other. These shootings are shedding new light, light on America's epidemic of gun violence. And this, this, see, this is what I was talking about in my post. If you're on Facebook and you saw my, my Black History post today about what Harriet Tubman said, that she, she freed thousands of slaves, but she would have freed more if they had known that they were slaves. And that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people who are in, in our urban communities who are slaves to themselves. Yes, you have enslaved yourself in your, in your genocidal mind with all this violence because there is, no, there is no white man, there is no one with a whip or a chain or anything like that that is putting a gun in your hand and causing you to go out and kill your brother and kill your sisters and kill our children, babies. Because the one young man was 13 years old and he was just coming home from the, uh, the, boys, the boys and Girls Club. And the other brother was 19 years old and they don't know if it was related or if it was in retaliation for the older son or whatever. It doesn't matter. These are young lives who were lost. And for what? And that's the question I said. For what? What, what are we losing these lives to? For what? What are you staking your claim to? What are you staking your claim on or staking your claim to? It's, just, it's senseless. It does not make sense. And this type of stuff just really makes me angry. And, and I wonder, you know, we get so upset about different things that happen, but are we getting upset about, you know, the people in our neighborhoods? Like, if you know somebody who's engaged in this type of behavior, you know they're carrying guns. You know they're doing things that they're not supposed to do. But then as, you know, in your communities, you're like, oh, it's part of the neighborhood. Are you not saying anything? And then you get into this whole don't snitch thing. Well, not snitching is causing people to lose their lives, if that's what you want to call it. If you want to call it snitching, I don't know. Let me get off of this rant right now because this type of stuff just makes me so angry. It does. I, I just don't like it. Ooh, maybe this is a good song by Crochette Michelle, Fragile. 
All right, you guys, keep it locked right there. You tuned in to D-Works Live. Make sure you answer the trivia question. I'll give the answer tomorrow. And check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Follow, subscribe, like, comment on the video when you check it out if you know the answer to the question. All right, you guys, this is my social cam vlog of the day. Also, if you don't know, follow me on social cam. All right, you guys, um, keep it locked right there. You are tuned in to D-Works Live right here on Elite Radio 97.5 FM and WDWL.FM Live Radio. Let's go, y'all. I heard that.